everyone, this is Stalini. So I'm going to be doing a love reading for the Divine Masculine and Divine Femme. So this is going to be the energy of the past and what's coming towards you. So let's look into this. I'm going to get right into your reading. If you want a personal reading, my information is below. This is a general reading, which um, some people still don't understand because they see other readers saying the same thing. General reading is like a horoscope, so every message is not going to resonate, only a personal will. Alright, so thank you to all those that got personals and those that got personals this week. I um, sent a bunch to you and you will be getting um, the rest of your readings. So right now, turnaround time is within five days. But um, oftentimes I do it before five days. It depends on my schedule because I have another job. All right, so let's see. It's raining outside and I think it's like perfect sentiment. We're having like a tropical storm here. Um, if you like these cards, these are my love oracle cards and they can be found in my Amazon list below. So let's see, what is the Divine Masculine? Feeling, what was the past energy? What was the present? What's the future outcome? You probably hear the rain. <laughs> it's a really bad storm outside. Just keeps getting worse. So these cards are so beautiful. I love these cards. Hope everyone's staying well. Wow. So overall energy, soulmate. Um, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I feel like a lot of divine femme are talking to soulmates because they got tired of waiting and they got tired of like being alone. And so this keeps coming out in the different readings. Um... But the thing is, you will always choose your twin flame over your soulmate. So I am going to get more into that. But yeah, I feel like because the soulmate is around you, I mean, this could even be friends. It doesn't have to be romantic. Some of you could have just, you know, met a new friend and hanging out with somebody new. And this energy is actually pulling the Divine Masculine towards you because they see you in your power, Divine Femme. They see you really in your life and not um, dwelling, not, you know, being upset. You're, you're at a high vibration. You're in your Empress energy for this collective. So you're attracting people. Um, a lot of you are still in quarantine. But, you know, work or just like walking around, going to the park, or even on Instagram, you're attracting people. So what is this soulmate energy about? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there was tower moments. Look at this. Oh my god, the way this came out is just so perfect. So there was tower moments here. Um, something major happened. Duh, of course, we all know. Uh, something blew up between you and the Divine Masculine. Um, a lot of things happened, a lot of shakeups, whatever was not working with you got destroyed. There was this tower moment, but this also has to do with the tower moment within yourself, Divine Femme. You had a tower moment, and you were like, I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to be in this depressive energy. I'm going to live my life. That is what this tower moment is about, okay? Um, and yeah, so now you're talking to other people. <sighs> Chills. So because this happened, you know, you were really upset. This is Three of Swords energy. This is a broken heart, okay? This is deep, deep pain. You were in deep pain. And you just had an epiphany one day, Divine Femme, that you didn't want to be in this nasty sad energy a lot of you are seeing 444 when i said that it's 444 um 444 
is all about angels surrounding you, okay, ascended masters. But it's also about a major life change, I feel, that is happening. And 444 also represents what's going on behind the scenes, like your angels, your ancestors, the divine, okay, God, your higher power that you believe in. There's a lot of behind the scenes things happening, divine femme. And you can't see this because you're not supposed to see it. But this also has to do with this tower moment. Like there's major shifts, major changes happening. Um, we are in eclipse energy, basically. It's settling a little. But we had like three eclipses back to back to back. So all of this has shifted the energy to remove what wasn't working for you. It shifted your perspective. It took the wool off your eyes, you know, Neptune being in retrograde, Mercury being in retrograde. Um, a lot of this full moon in Capricorn, that had to do with like stabilizing your life, you know, and looking at your life and not being in a fantasy anymore of what um, you wanted to believe, but what actually is. So this tower moment happened and a lot of you were like, I don't want to be in this sad energy anymore. But because this soulmate energy is here, um, guess what? The Divine Masculine is going to be communicating very, very soon. If you haven't already got messages, you will. With the Eight of Wands, some of you are going to receive messages within eight days. Okay, it could even be within eight hours. Um, I've said this before in my readings, and some people were like sarcastic, going, oh, that's not going to happen. Meanwhile, people commented saying that they literally got communication that very night that they watched the reading. So yeah, don't be negative because you attract that negative. You know, you're projecting constantly. So you need to always make sure you're in a positive mind frame. So because of you wanting to live your life and you know you're not dwelling anymore and you had this epiphany divine from, the divine masculine is going to come back a strong chills. And they're going to want to rebuild. So the Three of Pentacles often comes out after Tower Moments. So this rebuilding is going to be a partnership. Many of you, the Divine Masculine is going to come back to you and they're wanting to work with you. They're wanting to partner up with you in business. They want you to flourish, Divine Femme. So with this Eight of Wands, there's going to be a lot of communication coming in. Um, and I really hate to say it, but it's because, you know, you're living your life. If this isn't a romantic person, this is a soulmate, um, friend, you know, cause we all have soulmates. So this is a friend for some of you that are helping you get out of that energy that you were in. But because of it, the divine masculine is like, wait a minute, that's my divine femme. I want her attention. You know, it's like a toy that you know, you start playing with and then a child sees um, the other kid play with the toy and they didn't want the toy before, but now because they see all this, you know, fun and happiness with the toy, now they want the toy. Um, that analogy is very true. But yeah, basically it is simple like that. So because you're not focused on the Divine Masculine, the Divine Masculine is coming back wanting to rebuild with you, communicate, and there's a lot of passion here with the Eight of Wands. This is going to be a lot of passion, a lot of sex, a lot of intimacy. So if you don't want to get pregnant, be careful. All right. So yeah, but that is what that is. I'm not surprised the Eight of Wands have been coming out a lot. So yeah, Divine Femme, I'm proud of you. So the past energy, imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. So this is the past energy. A lot of you had to get out of that um, negativity, okay? So you had to level up divine from and shift your thoughts. In the past, you were thinking um, just you know, in fears, and you had to heal because of that heartache, okay, so now, you know, you've healed, okay, you've healed, and this also is the Divine Masculine, they had to get out of that negative thinking, but 
divine femme, you're always mirroring with your divine masculine. That's why it's important. Even if you feel bad or if you're picking up bad energy from your divine masculine, it's important to stay high vibration because they feel that. So in the present right now, what's happening right now, the divine masculine is saying, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing, chills. So even though many of you still are in separation or um, some of you don't live right by your divine masculine, there's some type of distance here, your divine masculine wants you to know that like I was saying, they're always with you, okay? You always feel them. You feel them in dreams. You feel them all the time. Like, I'm I'm getting very emotional. Um, the Divine Masculine wants you to know that they do love you, okay? So don't think that. So the future, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. So in the future, what's going to happen between you and your Divine Masculine, Divine Femme, and your Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, is you're accepting what is. I feel like this has to do with the accepting of what is, you know, you're accepting this connection. Acceptance, not fighting things, is the key. So in the past, all the Divine Masculine was fighting this connection. In the future, you know, what you need to know is the Divine Masculine is accepting this connection. You're both going to have that inner peace. The Divine Masculine has accepted it is what it is. They're not running anymore for this collective. You know, they were trying to change things, um, have things be perfect, blaming themselves, why like that karmic situation that happened for some of you interference all this stuff in the future you both are going to accept that you know you couldn't control everything the divine master was trying to control things you were trying to control things to have a certain way you both in the future are in this acceptance energy that everything happens as it should okay it's beautiful beautiful card the outcome the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So Divine Masculine, they want you to know, Divine Femme, the past is now behind. Let it go. Release it. They're releasing the negativity, the interferences, they're focused on new possibilities, new beginnings with you, Divine Femme. And they're going to tell you that with, you know, that communication that's coming in. Divine Femme, a new path is available to you. Follow it with faith. Don't doubt. Don't let the past destroy your present. 1313 13, when I said that. So there was a death here of that old energy. Okay, so there's transformation, and that's what's going to happen. So, what is the Divine Masculine going to be offering you? This current energy, what is the Divine Masculine going to be offering? And my readings are timeless, so whenever you come to my page, the message will still resonate, even if it's two weeks, two months, two years from now. Spirits know when you're meant to get the message. Wow. So, the Divine Masculine is putting themselves first. And you've been putting yourself first, Divine Femme. So you're mirroring each other. And this is what's making the Divine Masculine. Like I said, you're loving yourself. You're going out. You're talking to other people. You're, you know, friends, romance. But you're doing you. And this is making the Divine Masculine come to you. Wow, chill. So the Divine Masculine wants you to know, please forgive them. Forgive them and release the pain because as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So that is, again, in your reading, okay, accepting that you couldn't control the situation, okay, 
releasing, put the past behind you. This is what your divine masculine wants you to know at this current time. Release the past. Releasing the past is going to bring about this new future. The divine masculine is in this flirty energy. They want to come talk to you, flirt with you, and just be lighthearted with you, laugh with you. Okay, divine fam. So I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I will be posting other readings. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.